Hello, GSU, and welcome to this week's episode of TWAG. I'm your host, Nakia Driver, joined always by my partner in crime, Sam Brasfield. Glad to join you, Nakia. Can you believe it's already April? I mean, just a few more weeks of the semester are left, and these weeks are crucial for a lot of students who are trying to make or break their grades. How are your grades doing? Well, they've been going pretty well, Sam, although I can't wait for this semester to end so summer can finally come. Absolutely, Nakia. I completely agree. So what do you have for us to start off this week? Well, Sam, let's begin with something a little fun. Trivia Thursdays are coming to GSU where students can test their knowledge on various topics, including sport, sp sports, pop culture, movies, and more. Sponsored by New Student Programs, the weekly event will be held in room B1215 from 2 to 4 p.m. every Thursday. The students who answer the most questionnaires correct will also receive a care package towards the end of the semester. For more information on Trivia Thursdays, you can contact Jane Woolsike at 708-534-4508 or email at jwoolsike at govst.edu. That does sound like fun, Nakia. Next up, we have a variety of show auditions happening next third Tuesday, excuse me, April 9th, hosted by our General and Sexuality Club. The show's variety offers students to showcase their artistic and amazing abilities. The acts include things from magic tricks, acrobatics, juggling, to sketch comedy. So if you have a hitting talent, come down to Sherman Hall, where the room number is 1530, from 330 to 630 next Tuesday. No sign-up is required. Just walk in. Have you ever been craving something to eat other than a traditional fast food and college meals? Well then, stop by Prairie Place Kitchen tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. to learn how to cook and eat a Cameroonian dish made by a native student from Cameroon. Hosted by the Office of International Service, this cooking class will be sure to get your mouth watering for a taste of more. If you are interested in trying out this new exotic dish, make sure to RSVP as soon as possible as space is limited. You can do so by emailing Amy Schoenberg at schoenberg at govst.edu. Another event hosted by the Office of International Service this week is the Hall of Festival. Colors happening on Saturday, April 6th, excuse me, in Naperville. This spring Indian festival celebrates the end of the winter as it as participants cover themselves in brightly colored powder and they throw a huge party. All students are welcome to attend regardless of their heritage and should RSVP immediately. Buses will provide the transportation to and from there to GSU and back. And buses leave 11 a.m. sharp and they return around 4 p.m. So for more information, please contact A. Schoenberg at govst.edu. This can be a stressful time of the year for students. With the second half of the semester now fully underway, it doesn't take much to send some students over the edge. We strolled through campus and caught up with some students to see what really grinds their gears. GSU is a great school, but like any other school, it has its flaws. So we here at TWAG decided to go around the campus and see what exactly grinds students' gears.
again, GSU isn't all bad, but they're just some things to grind students' gears. Till next time, this has been your TWAG Weekly Report. Life Club will be conducting their student activities council meeting today from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. All students are urged to attend to help come up with a new and fun, exciting activity that can take place on campus. Make sure to stop by if you think you have an idea that could help make GSU way much more fun. The meeting will be held at the Lakeside Lounge, which is room D1489. For more information on the student council and all of their activities, students should visit glvst.edu slash Jaguar Connection. And finally, this past Monday marked the first of five sessions held by GSU Athletic Department to help, get in, help students get in shape. The team, the Jaguar team camp is a five-week class that focuses on improving strength, reducing your stress, and eating healthier. Each class consists of a 45-minute exercise with about a 15-minute discussion about nutrition. Information, sorry, the class will be held every Monday um, in April from noon to 1 p.m. inside the racquetball court. With advanced registration over there, there's a $10 fee at the door for each session. But there are smoothies and teas also available for additional calls. For any additional questions, please email the instructor, Mary Keelan at mkeelan at eleventhealth.com. Coming up after this short commercial break, Sam will discuss the hit music performance known as Hopper, which is coming to GSU, by the way. So you won't want to miss it. Stay tuned. A Jaguar is fearless. It sees beyond the darkness and moves with silent contemplation. Through unknown places with confidence, it knows the path through chaos, shape-shifting through the hidden sun. And when the time comes, it reaches out and conquers all. Welcome back, Twaggers. Traditional opera isn't always easy for everyone to relate to. A compass singer, composer, producer, and CEO of Hopper World Entertainment, Andre Dunn decided to fill in the cultural gap by creating Hopper, a fallen hero. Loosely based on the liberato from the Shakespearean play Othello, this unique musical blend, the magic of hip hop and opera, it tells the challenges of a young man, his complicated relationship with his mother, male mentorship, and the struggles of the inner city in Chicago, including gun violence, teen pregnancy, and the fatherless fatherless creation. It was designed to be an accessible to the youth through its use of spoken word, dance, and contemporary band verses instead of an orchestra. The modern approach to, to an opera allows a wider audience to appreciate the music and the messages that are being conveyed. The event will be held in our Center of Performing Arts on Saturday, April 6th at 8 p.m., and the tickets are $28. You can order your tickets online at the center, at center.tickets or just call 708-235-2222. Also, if you mention Rosie when purchasing one of your tickets over the phone or at the box office, a portion of that ticket cost will be benefited toward our Rosie May Mary scholarship fund. You won't, miss out, you won't want to miss out on this experience of a lifetime. So after this quick break, I'll be coming back to sit down with one of our GSU's very own. We'll be right back. Good morning. I'm your host, Charles Clayton, and welcome to Here at GSU the show dedicated to exploring new ways to get involved here at Governor State University. One great way to get involved is through Fatal Dance Academy. And here to talk more about that with us today is Mia Booker, the president of Fatal. Thanks for being with us here today, Mia. Thank you for having me. So tell me a little bit about Fatal and tell me, uh, you know, how do you go about getting involved? Um, well, Fatal Dance Academy was one of the first dance teams started here at GSU. We were established in 2014. We're a dominantly hip hop uh, dance team, but we explore different dances such as contemporary um, jazz, and you know we're getting to different cultures such as African and maybe even Indian. Interesting. So tell me, why do you think it's important to have a club like Fatal here on campus? Um, well, Fatal is all about bringing everyone together. Uh, we are a dominantly hip hop team, but we explore different dances. Okay. 
Well, here you all have a few shows coming up. Could you tell me a little bit about those? Um, one of the shows that we have coming up is the Michael Jackson Who's Bad show. We have the Shiro show coming up as well. And we are also thinking about having our own show. Interesting. Nice. Well, how can students go about getting involved if they want to find a way to join this incredible organization? Um, they can either contact me by email or they could contact our advisor, Robert Clay. Um, and we also do hold tryouts every fall and spring semester. Okay. Well, Fatal Dance Academy sounds like it's a great organization to get involved with. If you're looking for more information about Fatal, be sure to check out their page on Jaguar Connection or reach out to the Vice President, Ariel Harvey, at aharvey3 at student.govstate.edu. Come and join CPT and the peer mentors. Seven. Clubs and organizations here at GSU. And I am here with David Rye, the director for the Center of the Junior Year right here at GSU. Thank you so much for joining us, David. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you, Sam? I'm doing good. You know, we're here another, another day in the studio. B. I'm happy. Um, but I'm happy to have you. And to start off with, can you tell us something about the purpose of what is this, the uh, Center of the Junior Year right here at GSU? What is it? Sure. So we've had the Center for the Junior Year at uh, Governor State. Uh, for the last three years okay. and its purpose is to be an office of student empowerment. Uh, we know that there are a lot of barriers to degree completion that students have mm -hmm. and so we want to be the place that that helps students to address those and to talk about those um, whether it's with our professional staff or with our peer mentors. Um, you know we, we're that place where students can begin to uh, kind of unpack what's going on mm -hmm. and um, you know, get some support and some perspective and, and some, some, some advice that, you know, whether it's from the peer mentors or whether it's us helping them to know other offices at GSU that can help them. Yeah, help them be things. able to guide them to the right place mm -hmm. even if we can't help you. Okay. Exactly. I like that because I'm, I'm one of the kids who got a lot of questions. I might come in and we've got a lot of answers. Be like, oh, I got to go here, here, but you guys sound like you're, you're willing to help us. And I appreciate yeah. that. Um, so, another question um, can you tell us about the overall purpose of the center? What is the Center for Junior Year? What is the purpose of it? Well, our, our purpose is to help um, students uh, find ways to uh, overcome those barriers to degree completion to help them stay at Governor State. Sometimes those barriers are struggles in class. Mm -hmm. Sometimes those barriers are, what am I doing with this major that I'm yes, doing? What, what, what kind of career am I going to no, turn this into? I wanted that to be my major. Yeah. Um, sometimes the barrier is... Um, financial and uh, we've got peer mentors that are working on understanding the scholarships available at the with the GSU Foundation and other resources. Sometimes it's working on networking for internships, sometimes it's personal um, and getting to talk with somebody about different time management skills and work-life balance opportunities and so um, and so our purpose is to help students with all of those things to try to deal with those challenges that they have so that they can be more successful in their classes and be able to you know keep focus toward graduation. Absolutely, I, I love it. Um, so I heard you say one of the things you mentioned there was resources. Mm -hmm. So if I'm a student who's coming in into GSU as a freshman, what are some of the resources that that center or, or a transfer student as sure. I was myself, what are the, some of the resources you all provide? Sure, well, um, you know, probably our, our biggest and best resource we have is we've got um, 10 peer mentors mm. uh, that are in our office um, that are there to uh, listen to students. That's the, the job they do the best. Um, they're from all different majors across the university, uh, different levels of engagement. Some were four-year students, some were transfer students, some were DDP, some were honor students. Mm -hmm. um, and so they're there to listen, to help the students and support them on whatever the challenges that they, that they have. Um, beyond that, we've got um, professional staff. I'm there as the director. We um, are working to uh, have back in our office very soon uh, an academic and career success guide, mm -hmm. which will be a person that uh, helps to help students to understand the connection in terms of uh, major and career. Um, they're going to be a person that uh, connects with people in, in local industry to know what are the skill sets that um, st uh, st employers are looking for out of students. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm also there. Um, uh, as a, in addition to directing the Center for the Junior Year, I also direct the Honors Program, so I work with students on that. I work with students interested in prestigious scholarships, so if you're interested in applying for a Rhodes Scholarship or a Fulbright Scholarship, uh, anything like that, 
I'm there to work with those students on that. Absolutely. Um, so one thing I want to ask you, because you mentioned it, uh, I'm going to jump the gun on the questions, but okay. how do I become a mentor, a peer mentor? If I want to be a sure. student to become a peer mentor, what would I have to do? Um, need to come into our office and complete an application. Mm -hmm. uh, need to have at least a 2.5 GPA or better and be a full-time student. You got to be a um, full-time student. Yeah, full-time student. Um, and then you've got to have a heart to serve students. Mm. Um, you got to have a heart to, to, to listen and you got to have a heart to learn because um, our students are engaged in the work of the center. We have, we have, we really try to work to students' strengths. So some of our peer mentors, you know, they also learn about the scholarship availability. They learn about internship availability and networking to help other peer mentors and other students with those skill techniques. Mm. We have students that, um, some of our peer mentors are great with event planning and we do have various events that occur in the office. Mm -hmm. So, um, so their, their skills are, are, are invaluable. We have um, students that do help us with promotion in terms of social media work okay. as well. So, so you gotta have a heart to wanna serve students and listen, but then also the skills and, and specialties that each student has, um, we can find a place for as well. That's nice. Um, so. One event that you guys got coming up, coming up on April 5th, April 6th. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that event coming up on GSU? Sure. Um, we have a variety of uh, events coming up. Not on April 6th, because that's a weekend. Okay. But, um, okay. We won't be here. But um, I know tomorrow we, we have a, a Finding Personal Strengths workshop that's okay. going on. Can you explain um, that? Okay. Sure. Um, sometimes we students have, um, students just aren't sure um, what strengths that they have and how that relates to potential careers, and so we have an opportunity for them to come and talk with peer mentors mm -hmm. um, that will be leading that workshop on, um, on, on talking out strategies and, and, and talking out what pe they, students think their strengths are and hopefully get to listen to some other students talk about their strengths and kind of learn and how from they that. they can help each other. Yeah, so we'll have a workshop like that. We also have some, some advocacy workshops to help students um, in various ways. So um, uh, later on in April, we'll have a workshop focused on I believe it's April 17th. If April's you've ever full of events, guys. Yeah, if you've ever been interested in wanting to uh, enroll in an independent study, mm -hmm. which is a class that you develop with a faculty member, uh, we'll talk about how to do that um, on April 17th. Mm -hmm. On April 29th, we'll have a workshop on on academic grievances. So that's you know if you, if you think I need, you're in, I need to figure that, I need to be at that workshop. If yes. you think you're going to be in a situation where that might be of concern, we can talk students through that process. Mm. Um, we're also going to have uh, a game day, which if you're working with an ARC peer mentor, mm -hmm. uh, we'll have CJY peer mentors there on April 11th. That'll be in the game room space. Um, right, so, so near the, near the, near right. the, uh, the uh, gym. Yeah. And then, of course, for those students that are interested in finding scholarships through the GSU Foundation, we'll have a workshop for that on April 23rd. I need to be there. Um, yes, because we want to help students get money to graduate so that they don't have to pay quite as much. Absolutely. Um, so, Absolutely. so we have a number of events like that that'll be going on all throughout the month. Um, but you know, if, if none of those times that work out um, for the students, because um, you'll see the emails about them mm -hmm. and the exact times, then you know, make sure to stop into the office, talk to our peer mentors, or see us out in some of the mobile sites. We're often available. You'll see our students on Tuesdays in the Hall of Governors, on uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, you'll see us around Lakeside Lounge. We have a de-stressed lunch Monday Monday at lunch in the Lakeside Lounge. Okay. Come see us at one of those times. Maybe that'll be a little more convenient and our peer mentors can Very convenient because everyone passes through down there yeah. to get lunch. Um, so one of the last questions I have for you is so uh, right there at the Center for Junior Year, um, a lot of things you offer, as we just said, but what do you hope that people can take away from it when they come? Um, I hope students will take away from the Center for the Junior Year um, a feeling of support and a feeling of empowerment. Mm. I hope that they will take away uh, a sense of that I can do this. Yeah. Um, you know, when you're working for a two year or four year degree, you go through rough stretches. And, and I know you just mentioned at the beginning, it's the second half of the semester, times are really tough. Sometimes it, it, it makes it challenging for students to think, am I gonna finish through this? And, mm -hmm. and, um, and so we want students to, to feel supported in our office. We want people to, to, to get some answers, whether that's answers we can provide or our offices we can lead them to, or lead them so to. that students feel like that they can overcome those challenges, be successful, and graduate as Jaguars. And Jaguars. Graduate as Jaguars. Right. That's right. So one of the last ones I got for you, where can a student go to find out more information about the Center of Junior Year? Sure. You can come to our office, which is C1321. We're right next to the cashier's office. Mm -hmm. 
Um, mm -hmm. You can also go to our website, govstate.edu slash CJY. Or, like I said, you, we will have uh, mobile hours um, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Monday and Wednesday, they're generally in the Lakeside Lounge. Tuesday, they're generally in the afternoon in the Hall of Governors. And you'll mm -hmm. see our peer mentors look for the, the CJY letters and um, come and talk to them. And so any of those places, you can get information about us and what's excellent. going on. That's excellent. I mean, do you all have anything that you all want to do for the future for the Center of Junior Year? Or do you have something you all got planned coming up? Or is there... What is the future for the Center of the Junior Year? Well, what we hope will be the for the future for the Center for the Junior Year um, is, is having more um, engagement where the students are. Mm -hmm. um, so I know one thing that we are working to do right now is connect with faculty, especially with the junior seminar course. We know for that one, that's the class where the two-year GSU students that transfer in and the four-year GSU students start to come together. And so it's an important integration point. And so that's a place where we want to help be uh, supportive of that, mm -hmm. um, supportive of the challenges that students find when they get to the upper division. And so that's one of the things we hope for the future. Another thing that we hope for the future um, is major and career exploration, especially for our first year students that come in. You know, we, we know that students thinking about careers is really a four year process and, mm -hmm. and there's also skills that, that you learn along the way. So that's something we want to help with early in the process. We may be called Center for the Junior Year, but we're here to serve all undergraduate students, freshmen through senior. Absolutely, and then I, think I think I missed that earlier. I meant yeah. to ask you about that, but thank and, you for clarifying. And the last thing we, we hope for the future um, is micro internships. Mm. Um, we've oh. really started to um, encourage uh, and, and try to build awareness of a site called Parker Dewey that the university has a connection with where students can learn about um, positions and, and various fields and get some, some, some skill work in and earn a little money in the process um, on the way to that internship or that career. Um, and those are jobs that you can do, you know, during the semester, right? You know, at in many cases at home. So we're really trying to get greater awareness of that. David, oh man, but before we go, David, I mean, is there anything else that, that you think we should know about, that people should know about the, the center uh, for, junior, for junior year? Um, I think if there's anything else you should know, you should come and see us. Come you and should, see us. You should come I and agree. see our students and, and, and interact, with, uh, act, interact with them. I know everyone's really busy. Uh, I know sometimes you're like, oh, man, I'm, why would I go to the C-Wing? Come to the C-Wing to come Ooh. see us. If you've got questions that you've, you've, you've always been afraid to ask, we've got peer mentors there that are there to answer those, to listen and to lead you to places where you can get the answers. And you know, when you get those questions answered that you've been kind of causing stress, man, there's no greater feeling in the world than the feeling supports. We want students to, to come like and, and feel supported uh, in their experience here at Governor State. Well, David, even if no one there is gonna come, I'm gonna come because I just felt moved by what I heard today. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, David, for stopping by with us. And you know, that's, that's all the time we got here. Sure right here, but that is another edition of TWAG, and from everybody at GSU, right here in Studio B, you guys have just been TWAG. Have a nice